Hey, what's happening guys? One of the things we have to do is prepare the next generation to take over where we've left them technology-wise. Which is why I was really happy when DF Robot contacted me and asked me if I'd like to do a video on the micro bit. Because I think of all of the different what we want to call them prototyping boards, experimental boards, uh, hobbyist boards like the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi, uh, the ESP8266, you know, all, all of these that fit into that group of you can use it to play but you can make real things out of it. I think that the micro bit is probably the best one suited for younger children to get started. If we zoom in here and get a better look at this guy, you can see first of all it's pretty small, really suited for a child's hands. Here we're looking at five centimeters by about four centimeters. It's incredibly simple to use. It it, it comes with I mean, there's over five different ways that you can program this. Everything from a graphical uh, block programming language to C to C++, uh, JavaScript. It even uh, uses a version of Pascal, which incidentally was the last computer programming class I took back in 1988. <laughs> I didn't know people still did Pascal. So, this thing is, is incredibly simple. If you look here, you have these holes. Well, these holes are 4 millimeter, which means they will accept 4 millimeter banana plugs. That is much better for young kids to try and get their fingers on as, the po as opposed to messing with, you know, 0.1 inch header pins. But all of that being said so far, this board is no slouch. What we've got here is the Nordic Semiconductor NRF51822 system on a chip. This is a really powerful little microprocessor. It has a multi-protocol 2.4 gigahertz radio built into it, and it's a 32-bit ARM Cortex M0 processor with 256K of uh, flash RAM and 32 kilobytes of RAM. And then over here we come to this chip. This is the NXP Freescale KL262, uh, which is also an ARM Core, uh, Cortex M0 processor running at 48 megahertz, but this hosts the uh, USB 2.0 on the go. So that's all of your connectivity there. And then if you come down here and you look at this little chip, this is the NXP Freescale MMA8652 accelerometer and the MAG3110 magnetometer. So it's got compass and accelerometers features built into it too. The connectors are really simple. We've got a battery connector here, a micro USB, and then we also have this 23 pin edge connector that if you flip it over here, you can see we have our ring connectors labeled. Then we have these individual slots, and we can also put in uh, 3 volts and ground here. Now, since this power is from USB, there's a voltage regulator hidden on here somewhere, but that black solder mask makes it kind of hard to see exactly what's going on. So this comes preloaded with a little program. Let me zoom out here, and we'll get some power for it. and I will plug it in so you can see what's going on. Yeah, 25 LEDs in a 5x5 grid 
that are individually addressable. And these sell, I think, for right around $10, $15. I'm holding it upside down. So it wants me to press button A. Now press button B. I don't know how well you can see those are labeled there, A and B. S-H-A-K-E, shake. So that activates the accelerometer and just gives you a little random pattern of LEDs. C-H-A-S-E, chase. The dot. So now we're using the accelerometer to just roll around one dot and catch another one. If I can get it to go there, there we go. Now once this little demo program is done, that's pretty much the end of it. Great. Now, get coding. Oh, okay. Yay! So, very, very cool. Let me, uh, hold on a second. Let me plug in the old USB doctor here. And, uh, see what kind of current it's drawing. Hey, look at that. It's not even, not even registering. So ultra low current draw on that. All right, let's go take a look on the computer at the block programming that comes with it. This nice little colorful brochure says, discover how to make cool creations. You go to microbit.org where you can select the block editor, JavaScript, Python. When you have finished uh, creating your script, you can run it and see how it works. Now, aside from doing that on the PC, you can also download an app and do it from your Android smartphone. I don't know if they have it for Apple. I'm sure they probably do, because it has uh, that built-in 2.4 gigahertz multi-mode radio and one of the modes is of course going to be um, Bluetooth in fact I'll tell you what let's skip doing it on the PC and let's see if we can't do it on the phone because you know a lot of kids might not younger kids might not be used to using a computer but they'll certainly uh, be using a phone. Let me uh, brighten this up so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. So it's from uh, Samsung Electronics UK and it's called Micro colon Bit. We shall open it up. permission okay all right so the first thing that we're gonna have to do is connect it up and pair it so connect connect pair to a new micro bit more permission needed Okay. Yes, we'll allow it to turn on Bluetooth. Okay. Hold the A and B buttons and press reset. So A and B, press reset. Hello?
That didn't do it. Let's try again. A and B. Press reset. Did it work this time? No. Hmm. One moment. Okay. I just didn't hold the buttons right. We're successfully paired now. So everything is good. I'm going to turn out a couple of these lights we got going on here. That may be too many lights out. How about... Eh, hold on in one second. I think that'll be better. We'll be able to see better now what we're doing. Okay. I think we're already connected, right? Connect. Connect to our micro bit. I bet you I have to do this again. at that time no hold on okay, I think we're connected here so we should be able to create a little program here hopefully Let's code. Now we'll do a new project. We'll do the flashing heart project. So we have on start and we have forever, which is basically our setup and loop if you're familiar with the Arduino stuff. So we'll take show LEDs and we'll put them in forever. And then we'll draw the heart. I'm not much of an artist, so <laughs> bear with me. There's our heart. Let's fill it in. And then we'll do it again. See how these blocks click together real nice? Come on. And this time, whoops. What we'll do is we'll leave the inside of the heart empty and it should look like it's beating. So I think this is the flash right here. I'll try that. Download. One file downloaded successfully. Okay. Can I, th oh, I thought I could do this with... I thought I could flash it. Okay, there is the uh, our beating heart program. Now, how do we flash it? I don't want to download it. Hold on. Maybe we just have to use the app. So flash, is this it, I 
Let's try it. I don't know what's going to happen here. Dum dum dum. I'm not even sure that's my program that we're trying to flash. As you can see, there's absolutely no spit and polish here. Everything is uh, raw and unedited. But I'm not going to make you wait for that bar to go. I think we're almost to the end. Yes, it worked. So there's our little beating heart program. Okay, so now I understand it. Yeah, we can reconnect. That's fine. As soon as it does its thing, we'll reconnect. Okay. Error. All right. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, what you do is you launch the app. You do the create code, which takes you over here to microbit.org code. You do your coding, and once it's done, you come back here and you flash it. So that's how that works. That might be a little tricky for some younger children, but I, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. And once they learn it, you know, kids pick up stuff really quick. So that is super cool. Now, they have also sent me, DF Robot, this Micro McQueen robot kit now I don't want to drag this out forever so we're not going to put this together today but that will be another project coming up here for the BBC micro bit which like I said I think is an excellent uh, little prototyping platform for younger kids so I want to thank DF Robot for hooking us up with this stuff. Um, opening my eyes to uh, another platform, another way of doing things. And I want to thank you for watching. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And uh, big thanks to you guys who are, you know, my online family here at YouTube. That's it. I'm out. Peace.